Good day to you. Uh, this is Creeps, and we're back with Nikas for probably the final time for a while. We just have to clear up our future now, and we're pretty damn close. We only have like 6B to 10B. Yeah, that's right. 6B to 10B ready to go, and then after that, we're basically done. What are we doing next? I'll be still going to get the end of the video, but for the time being, we should probably get this cleared up. Last time we got Infinite, Citron, Amy and Peach, and the levels were fairly empty and blank, but they're alright overall. Now we have to move on to 6B, uh, because hopefully things will change up now. Hopefully now that we've got some actual specials introduced, we can start getting some interesting levels. So, on with the show. Hey look, we're starting off the dialogue again. Let's go. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Also, this is seriously just a normal level. Okay. Oh well. I suppose I'll give uh, Ian Peach a proper shot. As I before, uh, the first tier, if you don't remember, the first tier is like 1 times 1 into the AoE. I'm not going for that because that sounds utterly awful trying to use, so I'd rather use this thing. Uh, I suppose I'll go for Repeater, I guess. I haven't used Repeater for a while. I guess Aki is more rare, so I'll use Aki instead. Uh, you, you. I guess I'll use Squash because I need something to deal with the early horde. Okay, cool. So, this seems like a normal level. I'm assuming there'll be some gimmick that I just can't tell yet. Maybe like an ambush or something that I just don't understand yet. So, because of that, I'm just gonna let the level play for now. Uh, when something happens, or if something happens, I'll let you know, and I'll keep you updated. Uh, and see, enjoy the time lapse or whatever, I don't know what it's called, speed up session. <laughs> enjoy it regardless. <laughs> No, I'm starting to think this level seriously is just a standard f and like multiple flag level. Why is this here? <laughs> um, seriously, what is this level doing here? Shouldn't you done this like blast level? Hmm, whatever. And the level is done, just entirely. The, the enemies can't do anything now. What was up with this level? Why does this level even exist? Like, it just feels weird going off a standard intro to this, when the rest of the world so far has really been very standard levels. I don't know. I guess it just bothers me a bit. I don't know. And maybe I'll, like, ask someone and I'll throw up the answer on screen of why this level's like this or something. I don't know. Uh, I should probably get going though, we have got more levels to go through. Let's not do one the bad, let's move on to a positive. Uh, hopefully. Uh, hopefully it's a positive. D Discatron. You're, you're really introducing Discatron. Uh, are you sure you want to introduce Discatron? Which doesn't mean it's another bloody normal level in far future. Oh, why have you... Okay. I would be- I'd be less bothered by this if it wasn't the fact that every level so far has really not done very much to make this world feel more interesting. But because this world has been exactly as this world has been, this bothers me. Do we just- I, I just don't know if you- don't know the understanding here. Hmm. Like, so far, this world has like, a jetpack- the stuff, the stuff in terms of gimmick levels still have a conveyor which didn't really matter and most people just consider it a spam to win from what I heard. In like, was it like 6 3? Uh, it was 6B, whatever. Not 6B, 3B. We know what I mean. And then the gun has like the cit endangered citrons, and now that's been really been it. There's been nothing really interesting so far. 
Hmm. I think someone mucked up the world, mucked up the uh, order a bit here. Oh well. Uh, I'm just gonna go move news at Cherry Bomb, I think. I should have the sun for it. I don't really have any secondary producers, do I? No, I don't think I'm I mean, presumably, this is are still accurate for what's in the next world, which don't exist yet, so I can't play them. But, you know what? Let's just get the ball rolling. And that's just weird. Like, usually in a world you want to have a big variety of levels which are normal, so players can just, like, flex and just muck around for a bit, just have a bit of, like, chilled fun. I mean, we have a more serious, more difficult levels to get in between, so players have like something more complicated to work on. You want to make players feel smart about what makes give players a challenge and make them feel smart about it later on. Here, it's just you don't really have the challenge, so it just kind of happens. Hmm. Anyways, this is another intro. I'm just gonna like move on. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be anything to see here. I mean, I guess this Citron might be interesting, but it's just Citron. I doubt it's gonna be that interesting. It it's in part one. If Discotron to part one, you just, it's not going to be buffed very much. It's going to be nerfed, because Discotron Vanilla is actually kind of broken. <laughs> it, it produced obscenely fast, but, you know. We'll see. We'll see. Also, side note, I swear it's like the 5,000th time I forgot to bring an early game in a level like this. Why do I keep forgetting early game in Nightcast? Like, I never forget in any of the mod, unless it's Nightcast. Oh, hey, that's early. Well. Oh, well. He's being kerneled. What? Where'd the front one go? What? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. Oh no, it's 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 buff. It's normal. Okay, Jesus Christ. Oh god, it's still alive. Okay, well this is the scariest thing in this entire world so far. Why are you like this? Nobody said you could be like this, Mr. Tron. Man, it doesn't really matter. It should be clear now, but it's, it's a bit scary. So definitely the scariest thing in this world, and I'm annoyed. And I guess I could. I, I still don't think it's worth introducing yet. I still feel like it levels should have been better. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh god. But you know what, I'm just gonna shut up so I can focus. This is probably the biggest most in danger I've been so far. <laughs> because this Discotron is spamming the heck out of everything right now. So, give me a bit. Oh my god, there's so many Discotrons. There's five on the screen, and they're just... Okay. Why didn't you sure you should have nerfed these things? <laughs> they're certainly the most dangerous thing in the entire world so far. And it's not even bloody close. Jesus Christ. Oh well. Very least the level's done now, so that's pleasant, I think. Jesus Christ. Discotrons are an absolute pain. I hate these things so much. I'm the guy who thinks Discotrons are actually a really serious problem and are a genuinely massive threat even when they are significantly nerfed, so... Yeah, this is a problem. <laughs> oh well. Uh, at the very least it's more interesting than levels, because Discotrons just inherently more interesting than everything shown so far. But, good lord, the level structure here is whack. And just not very good. Oh well. I presume we're getting Kipido now, so we're going to be using Aphrasso World uh, when we kill this guy. Uh, eventually. This is this is going to take a while. Uh, oh well. Uh, give me a bit to clean up. <laughs> and done. Good lord. My damage up was not very good for this level. Oh well. Yeah, we can hit Mushroom now. I'm assuming then the entire gimmick of the next few levels is going to be hypnotize the Discotron to wreck crap up. Because that, that's generally what Mushroom does. Generally. I guess I'll check his tears though before we go properly to the next level then, so yeah. I'll look into that then. Let's see here. Uh it makes it slightly it makes it better in every world except for this world. <laughs> Why did they show it like this? 
This is the worst possible way to show, show like, the English and American differences. Okay. Uh, just in case you didn't know this, uh, armor in the UK is spelled A-R-M-O-U-R. -R. In America, it's spelled A-R-M-O-R. -R. So, uh, people in the UK add a U, or more accurately, I think the people in America removed a U. I have no clue. Anyways, so this is, like, trying to represent that, but that looks bad. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Uh, the tier just needs to make it better against everything else except for Max, so... Not very worthwhile, so, you know, I'm just gonna kick, stick with current here. I don't need more rapid phase to room. I'm probably gonna not be using it very much, because it's Hypnos room. Hypnos room is fairly meh and incredibly niche. I think, I'm, this actually might be a fun video to do at some point, but... Hypnos room in general doesn't work very well, because Hypnosis isn't very powerful when it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Especially just because of this horde size and things. You really need to hypnotize, like, very specific strong zombies, and most of the time, the zombies you want to hypnotize would be Gargantuas. Gargantuas can't eat things, so you're generally screwed unless you're in, like, far future. I guess Pharaoh as well as a decent hypnosis target, but beyond that, it's like not much else. Like Nemo has nothing. Uh, Piracy doesn't really have anything you can really hypnotize. That's a good idea. Wild West uh, Bull is decent, but that's about it. And he's even as merely decent. It's just like a buckethead at that point. Ah, uh, etc. etc. I think like Crosby K is a ice buckethead at least, but even then, it's like questionable. Oh well. I think as well, because most zombies don't actually affect their abilities, and abilities are really important to zombies in PvZ too. Gnosis just kind of isn't very good, so... That, that, that's that then, I guess. I don't know. Uh, 8B, moving on. <laughs> I'll stop my random mutterings about why Hypnosis sucks. More dialogue. This is gonna go well. Brilliant. Doesn't need some of the same five seconds. Okay. What is this? I'll be honest, I have no clothes going anymore. I've just phased totally out of its blood at this point. I am just confused. Oh well. Uh, here we go. So this is just gonna be a wall stride, I believe. So, I can just do like this, this, this. Uh, I should probably bring something, because I need to deal with the jetpack somehow. That was a good counter, which I can just like deal with everything reliably. Thank you, Pyvine. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine with Fivevine. Fivevine just is incredibly strong in general, so honestly, it should be doing pretty good against the uh, jetpacks, right? I don't think I can just put down during in the front and probably stall like Echo and Mech or something. Shouldn't be that hard. It is a one flagger though, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Ah, uh, but just yeah. I'll try to go for like two columns because I don't need damage sun. My defense is going to be very cheap because. I mean, have you seen my defense? It, my most expensive thing is a bloody Pyavine. Uh, it's like an Enduring S200. And I don't really need exactly the ton of those, so I'm probably fine. Okay. Well, at the very least, it should be an interesting strat to watch, so that's something. Honestly, this world in general seems to be very disappointing to me. I don't know. I guess, like, the last, like, I crossed my cave wasn't much better, but I don't know. There's just nothing really going on here. The levels aren't very unique, and they just generally feel like they exist because they need to have some levels for this world. They don't feel like they offer up anything particularly interesting or noteworthy to me. Which I don't particularly like. Well, obviously I don't particularly like it. But, yeah. It bothers me. I think in general you need like a sort of mix of unique and standard levels and... The future doesn't really have anything in this world, or in this mod. Like, it's not the worst possible thing ever, but it's certainly not very good. Like, because nothing really here that's too worthwhile looking at. Nothing really here that's, like, horrible either, I suppose, but... It's just a world that doesn't really do anything. Which is a shame. I think there's, like... I think for Future in general is, like, probably one of my favorite worlds, to be honest. I really do like this world. But you need to add a bit more to it. You can't just, like, slap in the world and just say, It's Far Future, it's a good world. Like, that's not how Far Future works. I feel like, to an extent, a lot of what made Far Future a good world has kind of been lost. So, that's a shame. Ah, well. I suppose I'll go for, like, the objective soon. I want I need to double up on pie vines just so the jetpacks can't get through. I think that's just something I should probably rush into doing further, further sooner rather than later. I have got a comeback here, but I'm just going to ignore it. I can just, like, stun it. I should just didn't install it, and should probably be fine. Just it being too much of a problem. Because I can... Because I should not be able to break through the, uh... Endurion really ever, so... Should be fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna go replace this quickly. And now we wait for the objective and hope we can get it. 
We should be able to. Uh, Sunian is an absolute godsend of the plant. Sunian Stall is a godsend of the plant. Pyrevine is doing decent enough against everything here. Well, these two lanes really have anything I'm not really dealing with properly. And so I should be fine just to spam Stall here and basically clear it all up. Hopefully Enduring can last. I think Enduring's HP is like AK for a call, so it should be good enough. And then I can start squashing, farming squashing these guys and hopefully that'll basically clear up the rest of this crap. It does look like... Ah! Is that a problem? It's not great, but I can probably deal with it. It's, it's, single, it's just like a single bug here at that point. That's not actually a problem, is it? Just... Okay, there we go. There you go. And that's really sold everything. Cool. Well, easy enough level. Alright, it's fine. I, I, like, I'm glad you tried to use different strat though. That's been nice. I feel like I've been using very similar strats the entire time, and this is just kind of fun. I, I like weird strats like this. Oh well. Uh, so now we just survive the last wave. I doubt anything in the last wave is going to be particularly interesting. <laughs> I mean, also, Hammer Stream has been, like, practically worthless this entire level, I've noticed, so... Oh well. Rip Hypno Shroom. So, yeah. Good enough level. I guess maybe I... If the next level introduces the uh, Hypno Shroom properly, then i just swap those two levels, and I think that's all. Pretty much every issue. Most issues here. Uh, probably get rid of 6B as well. 6B just does nothing. Again, I'm still in at the time of writing. Time of writing. I'm not writing. I'm talking. At uh, the time of right, I said rang again. Okay. <laughs> the time of speaking, I have no clue. Maybe I'll find out in the future. Who knows? But yeah. I don't know. We'll need to be reshuffled a bit. This level's alright, though. So, you know, good who have made this level. It's actually probably one of the best, probably best level in this world so far. And that's more so by default, unfortunately. But there you go. Uh, moving on. Oh, look, more dialogue again. Let's go. Okay then. Sure. That oh, looks like we're using her okay then. Uh, these guys are gonna be completely immortal then. That's this level's gimmick. I mean, I can't swap your tier if I really cared. Uh, I guess I'll go for Hypnosh Room here as well, so I can actually use Hypnosh Room. In terms of threats, uh... AoE seems like a decent call overall. Hmm. I also missed the tier 1 now as well. Uh, I think AoE is probably my best bet. Uh, which way do I go for? I uh, used Snapdragon before. Snapdragon seems like a decent call. Snapdragon completely wrecked everything last time. So I'll probably do the same thing this time as well. Uh, it does anti synergize with Hurricane, but I don't think that's a serious issue. So basically, this level is going to be a normal level, but you have just to keep an eye out for Jetpack Zombies. If Jetpack Zombies appear, Hurricane them immediately, otherwise, you will just die. At the very least, it should be fairly obvious which ones are which. Actually, I realize, no, that's not going to be the case, because I i don't really kill the, the mechs at all very quickly. So that's not actually going to be easy. That's going to be really annoying, actually, isn't it? Whatever. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, for the time being, I'm just going to have to go, like, greed out sun. Uh, if you're using, when you're using things like Dragon, you really want to use, like, Potato Mine Start, so you can actually get just really greed up the sun. To get these things out, these guys out really quickly. Because as soon as you get these guys out, you are generally in a really good position for the rest of the game, so... That's definitely my goal right now. Also, Potato Mines Recharge seems to be ludicrously fast. I don't- like, I've just, I've just came off from playing, like, uh, PvZ1. This Potato Mine has so much more recharge- so much less recharge, Jesus Christ. I don't know, I might just be getting used to the, uh... PvZ1 Potato Mine, which doesn't actually have good recharge at all, but... Jesus Christ, this thing is dealing with everything. Oh well. Uh, I suppose I'll skip ahead then, until like the first Disco Jetpack spawns. Oh, there's one. Okay, so we just have to save up for a Hurricane to kill it, because it is immune to all damage. And off it goes. It, it might be a challenge to get rid of it, I imagine. I, again, as the kings get worse and levels get a bit, this level goes on a bit, it's going to be obviously a bit harder to deal with, but yeah. Not a massive problem right now. So that's something, I suppose. 
Uh, right now, the biggest thing holding me back is recharge, so... Oh well. It should be fine now. This level certainly did exist, I guess. Legally, this is level. And that's all I have to really say, because this level didn't do anything of any particular note. Oh well. It, it technically has technically a unique gimmick. In the same way that a 6P had a unique gimmick. Whatever. Yeah, I, I can, it's like a very easy level to mock, so that's fine. It's not a very strong level, it's not really awful, but... It, it, it doesn't change anything, you just occasionally have to put down a uh, hurricane, and that's it. That's the entire level gimmick. Uh, truly the greatest, si the greatest sign of a well-designed level I've ever seen. <laughs> oh well. Uh, moving onwards, we have uh, M Melon Pult, so that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna check it at tiers as per usual, so we'll see how it costs. Because right now it costs 150 sun, and that's actually kind of small for me, so... Hmm. Right, so let's see here. Uh, 450 sun, or oh, 30 seconds reach... Oh my god, it's... it's when tier that it has... 70 bloody... Uh, okay, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not saying this thing is, you know, weak. He's... He does not look good. <laughs> it just... It, like, his splash gets worse. His fire rate becomes... His splash, his splash becomes damage comes overall slightly better, I guess, but its damage output is, in, is like, doubled and such, but that recharge just kills it for me. So many things recharge is not fun to play around. And I, even though it costs one my 2k stun, so you're not going to get that much exactly very often, that just does not look fun. Even tier 1 has like a long recharge, like... I suppose like less bad than a lot of other plants I end up using a lot, but... Mm, I'm, I'm looking at Fume Shroom a lot here, because Fume Shroom is a plant I sometimes have issues recharge with, but I think Fume Shroom just... I don't know, I, I, get, this, I guess this guy does definitely do more damage than Fume Shroom does, but Fume Shroom just seems way more reliable and cheaper. And I guess there's like also this guy who... You know, is repeater. He does repeating things. And that just seems to totally outclass. Wait, wait. Wait, why does... What? <laughs> wait. Why does the, like, only... Do only plants which have, like, a fire rate change? No, because you... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would actually noticed this before, but it seems like fire rate just doesn't show up on most plants. Um, okay. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> I can't say that one. You know, so, I'll, but I'm just gonna ignore it for now. But yeah. Nope. Melon, I'm just not gonna bother with, I don't think. I'll get my shot next level, but in reality, I don't think the melon's exactly the most useful plan for us right now, or for anybody, really. It seems fine, I guess. There's just, I can't be bothered to deal with, deal with like, bloody, like, hour long recharge. Hour long recharge sounds fun, and, well, you can't come to see otherwise. Uh, anyways, moving on. Uh, there's no dialogue this time. Okay. I am just confused what's happening on going off a dialogue at this point. I don't know. I think it's just jokes at this point. I think. Jokes and Among Us references. Because Among Us references aren't jokes. You, you, you know, we all know that at this point. Our, our life is a hell concocted, concocted by the uh, eternal presence of the vent. Anyways. I suppose I can go for like this. I'm going to see a free Pichu for a while. Tiered Pichu for a while. I almost got tier 3. It's not tier 3 anymore, is it? Whatever. If I don't, I actually don't need you. Uh, do I go for this? Do I go for something else just to make things a bit better? I guess I probably should, but I don't know what else would it be here. I guess we can deal with shield zombie might be a decent call. Uh, what do we want? I, I could go for infant actually. Infant seems like a good call. The only thing you can deal with it is dark prime, and I'm honestly fine with that. So honestly, we'll see how this goes. Uh, Gar Prime will not show for a while, because it's Gar Prime. It's one of the toughest zombies in the game, just flat out. It's an absolute piece of crap. So, yeah. I guess we'll be seeing how that runs. Uh, see you in a bit.
yeah, there's honestly, I think Melon's recharge is now. At the point, we're at point level one now where Melon's recharge is now actually a problem. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh well. Eh, it should be easy enough still. This level hasn't done anything of particular note. I guess the other game was a bit rough, but that's been dealt with by just everything, so it's, it's not a problem. <laughs> ah well. And there we go, there's our first God Prime. And he should be easier to deal with, in theory. Uh, the only problem will be the shield zombie, I think, but we can... that might be fine. Oh, man, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> These bells are turning the crap out of everything, holy god. These things have an unholy amount of DPS when there's so many of them, oh god. I guess that's why I've ended up to give reach of this thing, because this thing has way too good stats. <laughs> holy god. Yeah, now in final wave. Holy mother of god, Melon is strong. I don't think this thing is balanced. I this thing has been utterly tearing through everything. Melon should not be that good against Robocones, but apparently this melon has a DPS to make bloody up for it. Holy god. I think as soon as I got my 30 melons out, there was just never a threat. Ever. <laughs> Again. Jesus Christ. Anyways, there you go. Level done. I don't think he even lost an infinite level either, which is incredibly funny. Oh well. Uh, apparently there's something here still. Well. Okay, there we go. And we're going to see slot, which we won't be using, as this is the final level so far, I think. I believe we're going to have some dialogue here, and then we can leave out. No, no dialogue, we just... Okay, game, sure. I guess. I guess dialogue, dialogue is beyond me. Oh well. So, now we got something to discuss here, because I'm going to have to discuss something about the future of this channel quickly, and like this general series thing we're doing. So just give me a second. I want to talk about the Nightcast world first. Oh yeah, also we have Witch Hazel quests now. Again, I'm not doing the quests. Also, while Jurassic Marsh is available right now, I don't think Jurassic Marsh is finished. I know a bunch of these levels don't actually exist yet, so I'm not able to do that. But yeah, that's been the entire world. It's been nice going through it. Uh, yeah, we can see here the plants we unlock here. And while I would like to do Jurassic Marsh, again, the levels aren't complete, so nothing really to do there. So. I'm going to be talking about the future series briefly. So I covered before that I... So, so, so you can notice right now that fairly recently I released an hour-long video, which is totally edited put together, and you know, just generally big and long and a pretty big project. Uh, I want to try to focus on more things like that. Not necessarily for, like, random crap like Amori. I'll be entirely honest, I, I have no intention to go back to that game ever, so don't worry about it. But like, I want to. I've always, I've always wanted to do scripted content. That's kind of been what I grew up on YouTube, and that's kind of the content I just want to make. Now, for, for, I've always, kind of always wanted to make. However, and this is something that I didn't realize so much later. I never realized just how it worked. If I, if YouTube algorithm really worked. One thing that seems to be the case is that the content the algorithm really prefers you to make the same kind of content over and over again. So in other words, if I want to make the, make my content more likely to get out. Generally speaking, I need to, like, theme it around something. And as far as I'm concerned, one of the biggest issues I'm having right now is that because I'm running series like this and the Lumi Legacy stream highlight stuff, which I'm not doing anymore, and this is sitting for some reason why, because, because of those things and the way they work, I believe it's actually making it so in future my videos, which are going to be scripted, aren't going to do as well. And that bothers me a lot, because these are videos take just a much longer amount of time to do than these. But as I say, these videos aren't are going away forever. What I think I'm going to do at some point is that when I when I got my, get my feet like properly sunk into more edited and more complete kind of content, I can probably push on with push on with a bit with that kind of oh the game just froze okay <laughs> whatever as so I'm going to push on more of like that kind of like scripted and more so just put together content I, I'm getting with this like more like game content 
I'm fine to go back to it at some point in the future. What I, like, what I likely will do at some point, is if things start going pretty well, I might try to set up a, a second channel where I just upload stuff like this and that's where I'll be doing streams and things. I'll still be doing streams when I can get the internet back online properly, but for the time being, it's not a thing I can do, so don't worry about it. And I guess currently falling apart by this music. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, oh well. <laughs> I guess we're long back in. And we're back. <laughs> I don't know why I was lying like that. Anyways. It's like, because I want to put folks on most, like, my scripted content, I want to try to just see if, I, see if I can get the algorithm to work better and pick it up, to go stuff better. I'm going for more PvZ stuff there, obviously. I know that's what, kind of why things happen the way they are, because my channel is very PvZ focused. As much as I'm trying to push away from that, to an extent. It's fine. So yeah, that's gonna be something I'll be doing for a while. Again, this stuff's not gone forever. If things go well, I'm very likely to just go back doing this kind of thing. I'll probably be waiting for like a few more things to come out. I want to wait till like at least Quasar, Quasar, Quasar and Delirium are out, so I can like do videos on those when they come, those and play them for them, because that's just easy content. For maybe with our new new Nightcast updates, so I can get up to like I don't know, Monday sounds nice. And if we get like Big O Beach on Monday, that'd be nice. And just that general thing. I'm. Again, this is just kind of like a move away I'll be doing. If things don't go well, and it doesn't affect the outcome at all, then I might just go back to doing stuff anyways. We'll see. I'm just like trying to experiment a bit more. I I want to try to do something more of this, because I have a lot of time on my hands, so it makes sense to try to properly get a channel to work. So, yeah, I'm quite to see how it go, and I hope you'll be excited for the future, future as I am. Regardless, uh, this has been Creeps, and have a good one. <laughs>